discuss and learn about the lips, and we also learn how to find the coordinates of its foci, um, vertices, and covertices with the given condition. So today, we'll be doing the, the opposite um, task. So given a certain or, uh, conditions, we'll be finding the equations of the ellipse. So I choose these three because obviously this is, uh, they are quite different from each other. So I'm hoping that using these three examples, we better learn something today. Um, without further ado, so let us start doing it. So number one, uh, foci negative 7, 6, and negative 1, 6, and the sum of the distances of any point from the foci is 14. In finding the equation of the ellipse, ang pinaka-importante dito is analysis. Iba-iba kasi ang mga condition or scenario nila, all, so all you need to do is analyze it clearly. So number one, let us analyze. Given uh, ang foci, so, may dalawang focus. So, if you could recall, ang distance ng focus to focus is 2C. Right? So, kung may 2C ka, equate mo kung ano magiging distance nito. Paano makuha ang distance nito? Use the distance formula. So, equate mo. So, ano ang distance formula? X sub 1 minus X sub 2 squared plus Y sub 1 minus Y sub 2 squared. Then substitute the value, pwede ito ang maging x sub 1 or ito ang maging x sub 1, parehas lang ang result niyan. So, negative 7 minus negative 1, then square mo. Hindi ko na isulat ang value ng y sub 1 y sub 2 kasi magiging 0 rin naman ito. So, negative 7 plus 1, magiging plus ito. So, negative 6 square mo, positive 36, or the result is square root of 36. So, 2C is 6, right? Then, divide both side by 2, divide both side by 2. So, obviously, your C is 3. Then, um, pag, pag, para makuha sa equation ng ellipse, may tatlong bagay na pinaka-importante. Dapat alam mo si center, alam mo si a squared, alam mo si b squared. Pag alam mo yung tatlo, makuha ka na directly ng equation. So, c equals 3. So, paano mo makukuha ang center using this value c? So, 3 units. So, bali, galing sa negative 1 to, assuming negative 1 to negative 7. Dito tayo mag-focus sa standby lang si 6. So, Mag-move ka ng 3 units. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, or negative, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So, 3 units na fall sa negative 4. O, pabaliktad. No? Dito ka mag-start sa negative 7. Negative 6, negative 5, negative 4. So, obviously, ang sentay mo, ang sentay mo, ang sentay mo is negative uh, 4, 6. Or, uh, another solu personal solution ha, uh, uh, or analysis ha? Uh, negative 7 tapos negative 1 ano ang midpoint nila negative 7, negative 1 so, i-add mo lang silang dalawa then divided by ito, makukuha mo ang midpoint negative 7 plus negative 1 is negative 8 divided by ito, eh, negative 4 depende lang sa analysis nyo yan then, ito, based from this given Ang pinaka-importante rin dapat malaman mo is ang posisyon para alam mo kung saan iligay si A squared tapos si B squared. Ano ang posibleng posisyon nito? So, try to look at clearly. Oh? Uh, ang, ang value ng Y, standby lang. Samantala ang X, iba. So, kung ang, ang X ang nag-change sa fusay, so obviously, horizontal siya, Right? Claro? So this uh, scenario or condition is a horizontal ellipse. Horizontal ellipse. Kuha. Then, another. The sum of the distances of any point from Pusai is 14. If you could recall the definition, the sum of the distances of any point from the uh, of the ellipse from the Pusai is 2A. So 14, it can be equal to 2A. Right? So, divide both sides by 2. So, A is 7. 
or a squared is anong value? A squared mo siya. So, 49. So, paano magkukuha si B? So, if you could recall, B squared is equivalent to A squared minus C squared. Anong value ng A, uh, A squared? 49 minus C squared. Anong C squared? 3 squared is 9. So, B squared is 40. No need na pala kunin si B kasi sa, sa equation, di ba? B squared tapos A squared doon. So, no need na si B. Basta si B squared is 40. So, horizontal, may center ka na, may A squared ka na, may B squared ka na. Malalaman mo na directly ang equation. So, X minus H squared over... Since horizontal siya, ang X part has a bigger denominator. So, dito si A squared. Pag vertical, dito sa A squared. Ha? Dito sa A squared. Uh, y minus K. Dito sa A squared pag vertical. Horizontal kasi siya. Equals to 1. Then substitute the value. So, this is... Pag, magi, pag minus, magiging positive. So, X plus 4 squared over A squared. What is A squared? 49 plus Y pag plus, magiging negative 6 squared over b squared minus 40 then um, equals to 1 number 2 given is center 5 3 horizontal major axis of lane 20 and minor axis of lane 16 so pag ang major axis uh, is horizontal so may idea ka na, na this is ellipse is horizontal also then the length of the horizontal major axis, if you could recall, is equivalent to 2A, right? So, equate mo lang siya ng 20. So, may A ka na na 10. By simply divided, dividing both sides by 2. Then, ang minor axis mo, which is 2B, equate mo to 16. So, B is 8. So, kung may A ka, may B ka, tapos may center ka na, you can now have the equation. So, since horizontal siya, ang x part has a bigger denominator. x minus h squared over a squared plus a squared dito kasi horizontal. Then y minus k squared over b squared equals to 1. So your answer, um, x minus, so center mo from negative 5, uh, from positive magiging negative and squared over a squared mo is 10 squared is 100 plus y minus from positive magiging negative 3 then squared over 8 squared which is 64 equals to 1 so that's it so number 3 major axis of length 22 fusai 9 units above and below the center 2 4 so major axis is 2a right so equate mo lang siya sa 22, so divide both sides by A, so you will have 11 as your answer. Then, FUSAI 9 units, so my idea ka na na C is 9. So, FUSAI 9 units above and below. Hindi sinabi niya na side by side or left and right. So, kung above and below, so your ellipse is vertical. Try to analyze it clearly. Claro? So, above and below, so your ellipse is vertical then paano mo kukuha si uh, B B ang kailangan diba A and B tapos center so B squared equals to A squared uh, minus C squared your A squared is 1 to 1 minus this is um, 81 um, 1 to 1 minus 81 B squared is uh, um, 40 so, B squared is 40. So, alam natin na vertical um, based from this uh, condition above and below. So, X minus H squared over um, B squared. Dito si B squared. Samantalang si E squared dito. Kasi, ang Y part has a bigger denominator kasi vertical. So, K squared over A squared equals to 1. So, your answer is 
x given si center minus 2 squared then over and no si b squared 40 plus um, y minus 4 given um, squared over um, ano, ano ang value ng a squared 1 to 1 then equals to 1 so that's it uh, I'm hoping you learned something today thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your time keep learning and keep aiming high